Hey everybody, it's Tuesday. Guess what's happening? All right, don't all say it at once. We have snow. I don't know if you can see there. There's my backyard. Okay, it's April. It's supposed to be spring. We have snow. Can you see that on my front lawn? So I've showed you my back yard, showed you my front, and I'm sorry that the sun is a little bit bright here, but here we go. Anyways, um, we could spend hours ranting and raving and talking about the snow. We can let it bring us down, but we don't want to do that. Put on a happy face, be happy to be alive, and know that you're in a warm, cozy place, whether you're in a house, an apartment, or even renting a room. Um, the good thing about um, it snowing, it gets me to do things that um, I've put off around the house. But when the snow finally goes and we finally get a consistent of warm temperatures or nice weather where we can spend our times outside, um, I want each and every one of you to get out there and enjoy it. Whether you're doing yard work or you're gardening or you're planting flowers or you're cleaning up around your house, giving windows and doors or garage doors a fresh coat of paint. When it finally comes, I know each and every one of you will do it for yourself. But for me, enjoy the weather. Stop for a moment. Sit in your driveway. Sit on your front lawn, sit in your backyard, and just listen to what's around us. I live near a ravine, and I am so thankful I bought the house, and I didn't know till after that we had this awesome ravine right near us. Back in December, we had a really bad ice storm, which took a lot, a lot of our trees, damaged poles, hydro poles, damaged light poles, damaged so many trees that now when I go through the ravine and go walking on the path walk and over the bridge, it is a different sight to see. I was so thankful for having to be able to see the trees last year on my walks to now I'm seeing a lot of trees, you know, they're damaged, you know. Um, a lot of my neighbors, we've, we've, the last couple of weeks, we've been gathering up our, our branches. Um, we've had to adjust our trees, cut branches off. Um, some people have asked professional people to come in and to cut down their tree so it doesn't um, damage anything else. But... Um, you know, it is what it was. We came together as a city and we handled it the best that we could and we stuck it out and we got through it and now we're going to get through the snow. Um, this has got to be the longest winter that I have or can remember. Um, I was born in 1978. So from 1978 to 2014, if there was another longest winter than the one we're having right now. Um, put a comment in the box below and let me know because I don't really remember. You know, I've, how can I put it? I guess as I got older, I wasn't really, or I'm not that much into the winter. I rather have nice warm days 
Um, I did say in one of my, there was a question from a, a tag. Um, tag? No. It was a question of the day from one of my um, followers that I follow. And I had told them, if there is a place in this world that only has fall, spring, and summer, point me into that direction because I would so gladly go live there and never have to deal with snow again. But I don't want to do that because my daughter happens to like the snow when you can build snowmen and snow angels and go tobogganing and skating and well wait wait a minute you can go skating anytime you can go inside an arena so I have and you can go all year round but anyways enough of that enjoy the snow from my kitchen window Anyways, it was nice seeing you guys, and I uh, hope to hear from you soon. Yeah, comment down below in the box. Tell me what you're thinking. Tell me what you feel. Tell me what you want to say to me. Say hello.